endlessly searching for an original scene. Hey everybody and welcome back to Danglampa, another episode. We, um, we survived a helicopter crash. This is gonna be good, so where do we end up? Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? <laughs> you look completely exhausted. Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then, the riots. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. Two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. What's going to happen to me? <sighs> huh? uh, apologies. Your reaction was so... normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people, and the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. Kind of a dick. So, that's why you pass. What, what are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. Thank you. The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit... too powerful. I made a few modifications, for game balance purposes. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but... It's about time you started the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. I'll be going on ahead. What the heck? What is going on now? Things are very, very odd right now, hmm. isn't it? 
But we have a treasure box here. Tamed move. Time for another tutorial. Looks like you've obtained move. Move is a truth bullet that can activate when machines are superpowered hacking magic. Try it on that power panel in the red light. Oh, and I know you probably remember, but you can press the X button to change ammo. I love this game. So this, we have unlimited ammo that we don't. I just wanted to show you guys that. It's unlocked. I'm scared. Go on, girl, you'll be fine. Time for another tutorial. Now that you put in some time with the hacking gun, let me tell you something. The red left eye is a weak point for the all Monokumas. Shoot that weak point with break, and most Monokumas go down with one shot. Plus, after you hit the weak spot, break ammo will give you one power shot. It's one hell of a shot. One that's way stronger than a regular break. Now that's killing two birds with one stone. If you think you're hot, why not try aiming for the weak point? There it is again! So he will actually cover his eye. So we're gonna wait. Hey, turn around, buddy. I am not good. It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? Why would he talk about a game balance exactly? He is a very weird man. Oh. No! Got it. And we got a gold coin. Let's kind of do some exploring. Was the run button? No, it's not the run button. Okay. Is this the right way? This is a weird button for the run. But all right, I can dig it. That's a dead end. <laughs> Did I just get locked in? I should try to move something again. Really quick, let me just mess with something. All right, I actually wanted to just mess with something to see if you can get subtitles to work, but it doesn't look like that works. Let's see. Oh well, this looks this looks like it's gonna be real good. Let's go on in. <laughs> I can only write using a chisel, but if you don't mind that, I can sign your back, too. We accept presents as well. I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, salty flavors are no good. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. P.E. I'm the P.E. king who can do every exercise ever. 
running non-stop 24-7, 365 is easy as pie. Oh, I almost forgot. My job in the Warriors of Hope is the hero. And as hero and the leader, I'm going to be the new ruler of this town. He's kind of insane. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope, hero class Masaru Daimon. Dragon Quest. I always give 100%. My favorite class was gym, so they called me Lil Ultimate PE. Aha! A hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate PE. I even impressed myself. Huh. You're far too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. All he did was win rock, paper, scissors. Doesn't matter! I'm still the leader! I won, so I'm the leader! The leader! Fine, fine. You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am the sage, Nagisa Shingetsu. I am the vice leader of sorts. Second command hat, darling. My name is Nagisa Shingetsu. In the Warriors of Hope, I act as the vice leader and sage. When I attended elementary school, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Of course, social studies is but one area of my expertise. I excel at all scholarly pursuits. I was labeled Little Ultimate Social Studies because I was raised to be among society's elite. And I suppose I am a babysitter of sorts for the Warriors of Hope, Monica excluded. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Huh? Hope's Peak? You mean... that Hope's Peak? Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I... I, I didn't know there was an elementary school affiliated with the Academy. Huh. Such an ignorant woman. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Uh, wait, before I go, can I practice introducing myself? Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro Komori. You know how when you stare into moving bicycle spokes, you get all scared? Um, not really? Like, for some reason. You imagine how painful it would be to put your hand in. You're the special priest. Oh, um, my name is Jachiro Kamuri, and bird skin isn't yummy no matter how you cook it. I was really good at arts and crafts, so... They called me Lil Ultimate Art. If it's arts and crafts, leave it to me. I can remove nails and varnish and things. I do the priest thing for the Warriors of Hope. Oh, and also, I wonder if aliens exist. I have no idea why the music gets louder for that scene, but I've actually played this on other systems and that seems to be a glitch that happens with everything, no matter what level. Maybe they fixed it on this PC port, but I don't know, I'll have to fix it later. And you specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. Oh, you said what I was gonna say. The whole thing. Oh, my chest itches. I wish I could scratch it raw, reach inside and scrape my nails on it. We have the special priest. Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. And also waiting for a plane takes too long, and spring break is too long. Uh, um... Well, anyway, don't worry about Jatiro. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. It's not that I dislike latchkey kids, though. 
Some kids say they have magical powers. What? Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe. What? Oh, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Katoko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. How are you the fighter? Ahoy! A girl! My name is Katoko Utsugi, and I play the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. You might think the fighter would be a boy, but nope, I'm totally a girl. Considering this series, I don't exactly believe that. <laughs> I love girly things and peeled chestnuts. If it's totally adorbs, I love it! Are peeled chestnuts good? And I was pampered as the little ultimate drama in elementary school. But who cares about that old stuff? I'm so happy to meet you! I was called Little Ultimate Drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. I didn't know you could eat chestnuts. <laughs> Aren't you surprised? They're both chestnuts! Uh... Um... <laughs> and hey, did you know? Kangaroos can jump backwards! Can they? And, and, and believe it or not, snakes have ears! Ew! <laughs> yes, they do. And you can pet them. They love pets. Yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Okies! Everyone is Nerd Wonder. Monica is a mate. <laughs> it's Nerd Wonder, it's Nerd Wonder, it's Nerd Wonder, it's Nerd Wonder. She's gonna kill me. Monica is called Monica. Monica's a mage in the Warriors of Hope. I was known as Little Ultimate Homeroom while I was in elementary school. You might think there are no ultimates and commons in a class like Homeroom, but there are. For me, my skill isn't really about uniting people. It's about getting them all to help me. Believe it or not, I bring together a lot of wonderful people. It would be nice if you could be a wonderful person for Monica, too. It is literally the, the voice. Oh, it's, it's the voice Nerd Wonder does. Oh, the cutesy. But she's going to kill me if she sees this. <laughs> and when I attended elementary school, I was called the Little Ultimate Homeroom. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom? Monica just loves homeroom. The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party! Uh, but... You are familiar with the Warriors of Hope. N no The Warriors of Hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. But nobody really wants me in the group. I wonder why, kid. And I'm the party leader, which makes me the number one king of this town. Uh... Um... You... You kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings... Joking... around? I... mean you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff. Just kids? Huh? Aww. That's the only thing I can say. Just aww. Since you're an about to be, we were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our Monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered! Like the sound of bloody chopped meat! <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages! <laughs> oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... 
That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. All thanks to Monica's magic. Yeah, that's our mage. She can use magic even without magic circles. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Yeah! Monica's smile is so adorbs. Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up. N no! Stop it! Stop! Stop? Which part? If what you're saying is true, please... Stop all of this! We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made of children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids! Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise! Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either! I mean... Pretty good logic on that one. But can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything wrong. Don't you need someone to run it? What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense! It doesn't have to make any sense! That's all! If Monica wants it, it happens! That's how it is! Uh-oh. Th th this is bad. Monica's mad! It's going to be all right, Monica. Please, don't get upset. It's all going according to plan. That's right. If Monica says it, then white is black, cats are dogs, and um... What else? Oh, please. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? Hey, how dare you make Monica mad? That's the last straw! As the leader, I'm gonna hunt you down! Hunt? Let us play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> a godly game. <laughs> it was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Demon hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the Warriors of Hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, that sounds super fun! And our very own Monica came up with it! See, Monica? We're going to play our special game! No need to be upset now, right? Yes, yes! So exciting! Let's do it! Come on, hurry up and let's do it! No. By target, you mean... We're gonna shoot you. You, hurry up and prepare the device. What is this? That's a cute bracelet. This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. You go away. No means no. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? Okay then. Now we're ready. All right, let's go hunting. W wait, wait, hold on. This is a prank, isn't it? You're just kidding around. You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. I'm a high schooler. I'm not an adult. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I'd just get killed immediately. I mean, that's no fun, right? Ooh, 
You, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I have this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Hmm? Advice from earlier? However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. No talking without the leader's permission! You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut! <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it! W why What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad! You made the girl cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, you're too funny! <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt! We play the games because they're fun. Duh! That's the only reason? Yep. You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. Children are untainted by such futility. But to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. There is still much work to be done to build our paradise, yet here we are playing games. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She said she wants it done, so it will be done. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. And I love what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. I'll have to make you some delicious cookies later as thanks. And that's how you control everyone with fresh baked goods. I like baking. Y yeah Thank you. Oh, that's so not fair. I want to eat Monica's cookies, too. Hey, Monica, what about me, the leader? Wait. How can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're... you're not normal! Did you just come to that realization? Hmm... Of course an adult sees this as abnormal. But who cares what adults say? Also, Kumaro Naegi... In your current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path. Because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. What? You are not on a path. You are falling into an abyss. The darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? What do you mean? She means this! A child's ears are... Wonderful, wonderful ears. ears! 
a child's eyes are... Adorable eyes! A child's mouth is... A great big mouth! Why is it so big? To gobble up the demons! demons. <laughs> Let's say this particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. A game is different than reality, so that means even I can actually win. My, my! It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. That don't matter! At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me! The leader! Now, now, it doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys want to get a cola or something? Ooh, a soda sounds great! Someone go buy some! Leader's orders! And just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist. Will do, creepy dude. With your lack of distinct characteristics. So common, so dull, so boring. Don't insult me. Prologue, the Warriors of Hope, and to be continued. So guys, that's where we're going to leave it. We're going to go ahead and say, you can see that I played this game a little bit before. So guys, like I said, that is where we're going to leave it. Well, now I guess we're going to jump right into the next chapter. See you guys next time. Good night.